hostiles. We heard everything. What do we do? There are only two possibilities. We must either cut off the transmitter of the radio beam at the compound, or destroy the Cyberman spaceship. How much time do we have? Oh, I have no idea. Could be minutes or hours. Depends how long it takes them to prepare this bomb of theirs. Well, destroying the spaceship is going to take time. Now, we've heard from Captain Turner. The Russians are with us, but they say it'll take at least ten hours or more to get a missile that far. Then there's only one chance. The radio beam. Uh, wait. Oh, Lord, will you help us? We must try to get to the controls of the radio beam. We'll never do it in time unless you help us. You still think you have a chance? Yes, if you'll help us. Help you? Why should I? But to save us. To save yourself. And if I survive, what future have I got? What will the world do with me? Oh, for heaven's sake, stop thinking about yourself. Think of the millions of people on Earth who are about to die. Feeling to my better nature. No. If I help you, it'll be because I hate them. The Cybermen. My allies. You think I'm mad? That all I want is power for its own sake? No, I have to have power. The world is weak, vulnerable, a mess of uncoordinated and impossible ideals. It needs a strong man, a single mind, a leader. Paul, will you listen? Right. I'll help you to destroy them because I hate them. They destroy my pity. Doctor? Uh, yes, Brigadier. We have a chopper in the area. Can you get up to the roof? Yes. Yes, we'll wait there for you. We'll go out. Your unit friends are very efficient. I need the way to do... No, 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 I'll take that. I don't know, we'll be guarding the radio. Brigadier to Wing Commando. Get us airborne and head for the nearest airstrip to the compound area. Red Sector 2. Welcome. Take over, Benton. Right, sir. Are we going to go and help the doctor? Uh, yes. He'll need it if he's got to fight his way through 200 Cybermen. Yes, I only wish we had more time to release more men from the cyber control. As it is, we've only got a platoon. Captain Turner to unit control. Come in control. Do you read me? Over. Oh, I'm clear. Hang on, sir. Yes, Jimmy, over. Hello, sir. The Russians have fitted a warhead to the rocket now, sir. A super cool hydrogen device. It's a solid fuel booster, so it's nearly ready for liftoff. Over. Good, Jimmy. Sounds promising. We probably haven't got all that much time, but there's no reason why we shouldn't chuck everything we've got them. Out. Ready for takeoff, sir. Take off. All unit personnel to flight positions. Standard takeoff procedure. Assault platoon, prepare for action. ETA, 15 minutes approximately. All mobile unit groups proceed to Red Sector 2 area. I say again. Do you think that Russian rocket stands any chance? Red that distance? Area. Not enough time. Ah, I suppose not. That's why those Southern things are keeping their range. They know they're safe. But you never know, they could take time to get that bomb of theirs ready. And that Russian rocket might make it. Yeah, it just might. Yes, a little bit of um, stock footage there of the rocket by the looks of things. And great to see real villainy there in the character of Tobias Vaughan, who had the actor there, I think, previously played Mavic Chen in the Daleks' master plan. Uh, th this story is uh, The Invasion, unusually an eight-parter. And the last appearance of the Cybermen for quite some time. They wouldn't appear in uh, John Pertwee's tenure. Um, but wonderful to see John Levine there as Sergeant Benton. I believe this story was his first appearance. I'm not sure whether he had appeared in The Web of Fear, but I might be wrong. And of course, Nicholas Courtney returning as Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart, who was to become such an icon of the series during the 1970s. I always remember that sort of iconic image of the Cybermen escaping from the sewers and uh, that image of them walking down the steps of uh, St. Paul's Cathedral 
It's uh, full of fantastic imagery, this one, and uh, is a fantastic story. I believe only two episodes are currently missing. They have been animated. And lovely to see the, the girls there, Wendy Padbury still in her glittery costume, and I believe Isabel there, who uh, again was a, good to see another strong female character in this story. Um, but yeah, the, the, the final appearance of the Cybermen after no less than, I think, five appearances during the 1960s and uh, they'd certainly made a huge impact and would of course for many years to come.